So welcome to part two of the diadem guide. Uh, this guide, I'm gonna this part, I'm gonna focus on uh, what you should do outside of unspoiled nodes if you don't want to gather unspoiled nodes, if, or if you're killing time before uh, the exploratory mission ends. Uh, the exploratory mission's on the right there. Uh, it takes three stages, and once the three stages is done, you get uh, get the unspoiled opened. Uh, so the first thing we do. Um, I'm also going to explain how to reset nodes. Uh, not everybody understands that. Uh, so I'm going to explain that uh, as well. And it's extremely important here, especially because all the nodes respawn at once. And you'll see what I mean. Uh, we're heading straight to the Middle Eastern Island here. Uh, because that's where we get Rosemary and Darksteel, our two targets at the moment. So we got the worst spawn point. There's different spawn points too, and we got the one furthest away from our island. So I hate doing the little fly of shame, but you got to do it. Uh, the first guide too, if you didn't see that first and you're still not familiar with the uh, with the diadem, you should really watch that before you watch this one. Uh, it's not too long, so you'll learn a lot as well. But as we talked about, we're heading straight over here to good old island of Rosemary. Actually, going to switch to to my botany here. Uh, one thing to know is monsters see through stealth here. You cannot stealth. Uh, there's snails you can go to that you will see later in the unspoiled node uh, video that uh, give you true stealth, so you can dodge everything in that. So we'll start off with our vegetation patch here. Um, Rosemary is our goal, so we'll stick with that. And also at the bottom there, you see the location effect. Uh, the the effects are really strong here, and there's they're they're very plentiful. Um, you get plus two gathering attempts all the time, which is what you're really aiming for, and what you want to use your king's yield twos on. So we hope we get it, and we did. So we use king's yield two and just spam rosemaries. We get something like three, six, fifteen per or something like that. So about thirty thousand gil uh, at the minimum. fantastic place to to gather and it's probably the best place to gather in the game at the moment if i'm not forgetting anything important uh, especially with the way you reset things uh, these lines are dangerous and like i said uh they everything will one shot you here oh good i can show this too there's also buried coffers everywhere uh there's a map of where they are i can put that below as well uh, i don't focus on them but they're there so this will uh pop up a little treasure chest here you open it up and everybody gets these loot here and then you just greet on them and we didn't win anything so not too bad though we helped somebody out in the group so i'm scared to get this because that stupid line is going to get me but i'm going to try anyway good he didn't another plus two gathering attempts so i should have x uh escaped out there and used to use the cordial i forgot to use a cordial because i was talking uh, so you should have another uh like 10 more rosemaries from this We're skipping the trees here because there's just uh, nothing of worth there. Again, very dangerous. We'll get some rosemaries. Uh, there's also things called giganthopuses or something. Um, those are the killers of of your GP, and they will just surprise you out of nowhere and kill you, uh, which is not cool. So we finished the first uh, objective. There's two more to go. There are four... Uh, Four areas with rosemary in it in each each little island here. I can't remember if I got three or four just because I'm kind of talking to you guys too. I think I got all four. You don't have to, but I just wanted to there. So what we're going to do, we're going to switch to mining now. We're going to find any node whatsoever. Uh, these guys don't aggro, so we can run near them. We're going to go up to it. We're going to hit escape here. I'm um, Actually, no. We can just hit escape, but we're going to hit this one because it's gathering yield plus one. Um, and there's also dark steel ore, so we'll just hit this anyway. Because dark steel ore is worth a decent amount too. Uh, our goal right now is just 100% rosemary, um, so we're we, we need to hit a mining node so we can reset the rosemary. So we switch back here, and the rosemary is still not reset. Um, so we do that by finding a tree, hitting escape. And now they're all reset. Uh, they pop back up on my map there. So now we grab four rosemary again. And we're all set. 
So we got gathering yield plus one. Um, the modifiers in the diadem are just fantastic. Uh, such a great thing to great great place to farm. Uh, better than everywhere else. And you should be you should be spamming cordials at this point too. Uh, I'm not because I keep forgetting, but you should definitely be spamming cordials. It's worth it, and you make way more gil than they cost. So I'm gonna fast forward forward here. Uh, until this operation is complete, you can just keep doing this. Um, keep doing rosemary farming. You can do dark steel farming. Uh, you can switch around to another island if you want. Uh, but honestly, it, it's not really much use unless you specifically want uh, something from there for something else and you don't want to buy it. Uh, so yeah, I recommend sticking here. Um, but yeah, we'll fast forward it. We'll so that was part two, bit. guys. Uh, good little small guide of how to get rosemary and how to reset the nodes. You can use that exact same strategy anywhere in the diadem, um, wherever you want to reset it, or even outside of the diadem. It doesn't work entirely the same, uh, but the, the general thing is to go to a node, go out of it, and then one will respawn. Um, with the diadem, it's a little different and everything respawns at once, but you get the gist of it. Um, and the important part about this is you don't have to gather rosemary. It completely depends on the current market, and that's what's so great about uh, this channel and this guide that I'm trying to do um is the tools you use uh you 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 can search the auction house beforehand figure out what you're going to do and then go from there uh, don't just blindly follow this and go straight to court or go straight to rosemary's uh because you never know they might not be the, be worth the most so yeah uh thanks for all the comments thanks for all the follows subscribes i really appreciate it uh and we'll be on to part three in just a second here uh to teach you some unspoiled nodes thanks <laughs>